Welcome to Getting Geeky with your host, Gina Shrek, and the occasional special guest, bringing tech tips in bite-sized pieces. She's getting geeky, getting goofy, and yeah, getting random. Welcome to Getting Geeky. Welcome to Getting Geeky. We're going to talk about personalization, customizing your Facebook page. Now, this is one of my favorite mugs, not because it holds a gallon of coffee, not because I painted the lovely picture on here, and not because it has a great quote on the side. Life is short. Buy the shoes. No, the reason I like it is because it's my mug. I customized it. When it's in the cabinet, no one uses my mug. It's my mug. And I love that. I've also customized my phones and cameras. I love Skinit. Skinit.com. If you go to Skinit.com, you can buy custom skins for any model phone, cameras, laptops. We love to customize things. So Facebook, there's several things you can do to customize, but the most important is to snag that URL with your name. Now, to do that, two episodes ago I talked about how to create a fan page. But let's first start with your personal page, your individual Facebook page. You have that page. Now get, if you look up at the URL, it's facebook.com slash a bunch of letters and numbers. You can get your name in that URL. So you want to go up to the top of the page and you're going to replace what's there with the words username and I'll show you in just a minute but you're going to replace it with username and then you can um, get your name now hopefully someone else hasn't taken it already if you have a name that's common it may already be taken and you'll have to come up with another uh, combination for your name but to get your fan page name it's a little trickier Number one, you have to create the fan page. Remember, you can have several fan pages. So for each fan page that you created, or business page, you want to try and get the URL for that. And to do that, you must have 100 fans. Facebook does not allow you to secure the URL that's unique to your business name until you have 100 fans. So you may have to do a little campaigning or begging <laughs> to your friends and your contacts. Use Twitter, use Facebook, tell people, I need you to come to my Facebook fan page and become a fan. And there's a on the fan page, there's a link that says send out, um, notify people of this page, and you can send it to everybody on your Facebook connections. Remember, this helps you start separating your personal from your business. So, if, uh, for example, if you go to facebook.com, slash getting geeky that is my Facebook fan page on there the only updates that are on there are getting geeky updates they're tech updates they're tech tips they're videos that I'm doing here and I'll upload them to the getting geeky fan page so it's different than my personal and some of you might be thinking I can't do two pages the key is your business page you're just sending out one or two, some people do one a day, some people do two or three a week. It's less frequent updating and it's strictly business tips and things and they're only going to people who have connected with you on your fan page. The people who are on your personal page are not getting these updates unless of course they're connected with you on both. So hopefully that makes sense. But I'll show you how to secure that username. Here's a tip. Give some thought to what you want the name of your page to be. You don't want to use your name because you already have that page. So you want to think of your business name. I have a, a fan page for Synapse 3DI, and that is strictly regarding 3D Interactive, a lot of virtual world things and updates. And then Getting Geeky page is these videos and tech tips. So think of the name that you want beforehand because once you click you cannot go back and change your mind. You cannot say, yes, this is the name, and they go, oh, I wanted, to, I wanted it to be something else. It's one, you have one shot. So you really want to make sure you're on the right page, you have the right name, and uh, before you hit click to submit that name for the URL. So let's take a look at how to do that. 
Let's take a look at securing your custom URL for Facebook. So if you notice when you log into Facebook, up at the top you see www.facebook.com slash all of these different symbols and letters. Now your name is in there buried, but to customize it you want to highlight everything up to the forward slash after facebook.com and you're going to replace that with username. Now of course I've already done this on mine so when I go to this it's going to tell me your username has been set. So it, it is now I can direct people to facebook.com slash gina.shrek. Now if you want to get that for your business page or fan pages it will ask you do you want to set a username for your pages. So it brings up this page. I'm going to go to Getting Geeky Show and again I already have that so it's saying um, we already have the Getting Geeky name on that. So once you've secured that custom URL be sure and send me a quick little note and an invitation to become a fan. I would love to do so and see how you're doing. Until next time keep getting geeky. That was easy.